Hello everyone, this is Toby from Toby's Urban Sketch and thank you for joining me for another quick tips and tricks video. Um, today we're going to be working out the sort of easiest, the best way of urban sketching bikes and love them or hate them, they are everywhere, they're all over our urban scenes. I do love, of course, riding my bike and I ride it a lot of places but sketching bikes can be a different thing. I'm going to be using my Lamy Safari, it's got a fine nib on it I would just be using this page to have a think about how we can break it down. So, how can we break down a bicycle <laughs> sketch style? So let's start with a frame. The frame is a simple triangle, and at the back there's another triangle, that's where the wheel goes. And then at the front there's a line or a couple of lines that makes the fork. So if, we, if we've got that in, we've already got the basic framework. But what comes next? Well, there's the accoutrements like the saddle, which is another triangle. A triangle on a stick this time and a smaller triangle. And if there's someone on it, you can't always see it, but it's still there as a triangle. And then the handlebars, you could be on the side, they could be in front of you, but they're quite simple lines. Just a couple of lines, a couple of circles at the end. And of course, you've got the wheels. Um, don't worry about drawing a perfect circle for your wheels. Perfect circle is very hard to draw. Um, wheels have lots of lines within them, so drawing a couple of sketchy circles, adding in a few spokes, adding in a hub, uh, it gives a greater sense of character, a greater sense of movement, a more alive and sketchy feel. So, just go for it is what I say. Don't worry about those perfect circles, just have a little go. So let's try a couple of examples. So we've got here a couple of bikes. Um, they're actually bikes we rented in a field in Norway. Um, and even with these uh, two bikes, we can still just use our basic principles. So we can pop the frames in first and then build up the surrounding levels of detail. This is quite convenient because both these bikes are on their side, so no funny perspective to deal with. All we have to do is build up those details add those little wheels in, add those, those frames, the accoutrements, the saddle, the uh, handlebars. And before you know it, we've got a really simple sketch of a couple of bikes built up. What you can do, if you, if you want a more firm feel, you can go round those wheels after. When you've got those sketchy little lines in, you can go round them and you can add in a firm line to give a real clear idea of the wheels outline. You can, of course, add in things like pedals and other details uh, as well at the end. But it, once you've got that basic structure down, then you've got something really easy recognisable and you can take it from there and it becomes much easier. So what's next? Well, let's try a bike with a person from an angle. So we've got perspective to deal with. So can we still use our basic framework? We can. We just have to move things around. We have to move the angle of the bike and start dealing with a little bit of perspective. So you've still got these same shapes, it's just they're now on a, on a perspective. What we could actually do, after we draw in the frame, is we could draw in our lines of perspective and then we can really work out what's going on. We can work out where the wheels need to go. So the front wheel is going to be bigger than the back wheel, for example. And then we can start building things up from there. We can see, you know, the tops of those wheels are also on a vanishing point. And then we can pop in the handlebars. And just remember, you can't see all the handlebars. So you could draw the whole bike in and then ghost the person on top. Or what you can do is just draw the little bits you can mostly see using our basic framework. And then start adding our person in. So we can start with the head. Then we can build in the back. And then just pop pop them on the saddle, and the really quick sort of gest gestural lines to get where their feet are. And from the feet, we can of course pop in the pedals. And then from the shoulder and the, the below the head, basically, we can start building in arms. And again, we can then go over and make these, these lines firmer, more certain. But for a, for a simple sketch of a simple person on a bike, it, it's all you need to do. We could try again another person really quickly, just from a different angle. And um, this time 
we'll we'll not use those same constructional lines, but we'll we'll just build up again from the frames. We've got our sort of triangle, our, our trunk at the back, got our little fork, and then we can pop in our wheels. There's a little bit of perspective here, there's a slight angle. Um so just slightly different sizes of wheels. We can pop in spokes if we want. You don't need to though, you don't need the spokes. You also don't even need to complete completely finish the wheels. You can also add in these handlebars. These handlebars have a bit of a different shape, so we can give them that loop, that looping out. From the handlebars, we might then decide to actually build our person from the points that they're contacting the bike. So here we are building from the handlebars up. Then get the shape of their, their hat. It's a Vietnamese um, bamboo hat, this one. And then we can start building up the rest of their body taking it down to where the, the pedals are. In all of this, whilst we're sketching things, just remember these these are sketches to go in a scene. They're not they're not things which have to be absolutely perfect, but just the, the feel, the idea of someone on a bike or a bike sort of lean, leaning against the wall, whatever it is, all we need is that feeling. And you can see again the bike still fits some some fairly basic lines of perspective. So just remember, all you need is to remember those those three bits. They get the frame, then you add on the wheels, you add on the the saddle and handlebars. And if you just work in in bits in pieces, step by step, instead of trying to draw the whole thing, so work in shapes instead of immediately going for details.